If you've ever tried a mouse like the G305 or the G403 wireless or the G900 or the Razer Riper Ultimate, I could go on. You know how it feels to get rid of the wire while still retaining the high performance of a gaming mouse because these newer wireless mouse are frankly for me a game changer. And by the way, this one which you're looking at right now is a 3D printed 60 gram S2 shape, Zowie S2 shape mouse with G305 internals with the upcoming. But if you for some reason don't want to buy a wireless mouse because you don't like the shapes which in which they come, uh, then you have a couple of options to try and mitigate cable drag. First, you can get your stock mouse and peel the cable. The peel cable will look something like this if you're talking about or using a Zowie mouse. When you peel it, you're gonna remove the copper shielding from the wire and also the rubber coating. That saves you a lot of grams of weight and it also makes the cable more flexible. If you want to go one step further, you can buy a paracord. That will cost you money but the cable, uh, just like this, won't have a shielding, but it will also be made out of a... Uh, even the wires themselves uh, will be made out of a more flexible copper material, and the direct rubber coating on them, uh, on the individual wires, will have a more flexible material used on it. However, if you don't want to spend as much, you can just order one of uh, these cheap cables from eBay or AliExpress and do the mod that I've done to my mouse. You'll get an even lighter cable than a paracord because it doesn't have a fabric layer on top and you'll save some money. The downsides are this will be more fragile than a paracord and also shorter so you need to use an USB extender cable. But if those negatives didn't deter you and you still want to get a cheap and really flexible cable, then you can go to the description and I will have a link for a video right there in which I do this mod to my mouse. You can replicate it and have a way of more flexible cable for really cheap. But this video is about the last step you can take. What if we get my cheap solution? The cable from AliExpress or eBay. Do all the things I do in that video, but with one change. <laughs> We attach the cable in a way that it comes out of the back. This is a wheel mouse optical, which was used by a lot of pro players back in the day, in both CES and Quake, and basically any FPS uh, from the late 90s to the mid 2000s, when there weren't really a whole lot of gaming mice around with good sensors in them. And so people use these office mice, which happen to have good sensors in them. The only problem with the sensor right here is that it has a low maximum tracking speed. So if you try to swipe around uh, really fast on your mouse pad, the uh, mouse will just um, negatively accelerate, so it will decelerate on really fast turns. Uh, when a mouse doesn't have a high enough tracking speed, it, it can do a couple of things. It can exhibit a couple of uh, behaviors, and this one, having negative acceleration at the top, is one of the better ones, because some mice, most mice, which you probably use office mice and cheap ones, uh, they don't decelerate, they actually spin out. You start looking at the top, like the ceiling or the floor, uh, in your video game, when you try to do a really fast flick with a cheap mouse, usually. So their behavior is better than cheap mice's, and also their, compared to cheap mice, their maximum tracking speed is relatively high. But other than that, the tracking speed, uh, they're pretty well renowned for their sensors. Some people even prefer the sensor in these mice as compared to the newer ones. And the reason for that is, uh, is because they have absolutely no smoothing, no filtering, it's just 400 dpi, no other options. So, we are at a point where we like this mouse, we don't want to change the sensor, uh, but we want to get rid of cable drag as much as we can. I mentioned we don't want to get rid of the 
sensor because you do have the option of ordering a custom 3D printed bottom plate for this mouse from uh, people like uh, Adrenalinez or Piranha, I hopefully didn't pronounce those names incorrectly, on Reddit. They will print a custom bottom plate for your mouse, onto which you can put G305 internals, which is the cheapest high-performance wireless mouse on the market. So you can migrate the internals of that mouse into this one uh, with a custom bottom plate and have a wireless wheel mouse optical. But if you really, la really like the sensor or you don't want to spend as much money because that will be really costly, you'll have to buy a G305, you'll have to buy that bottom plate and you also have to work on it quite a bit. So if you don't want to go down that route, then you simply change out the cable and route it out of the back, because this is where I come to the really interesting part of the video. So, I don't know why people or companies haven't thought about this yet, doing this. Maybe I'm giving them uh, ideas right now, but I don't care. I'll only be happier if we get mice with less cable drag. So, if you route the cable out the back, which is, people actually have thought about this, just in a different way. I've seen uh, people on Reddit uh, take their mice, let's see, for uh, this FK1 for example. I've seen people take their dat adders, if I recall correctly, but uh, it has been on the other mice as well, and route the cable uh, like parallel to their arms, like they will strap it to their arms with uh, zip ties or whatever and uh, just route it around the side of the mouse and strap it to their hands and that way they don't feel the cable uh, interfering with their aim. When you're, trying to aim. when you're trying to aim a mouse really precisely, the thing that is really getting in your way of that is the fact that the cable is dragging on the front of the mouse. Because for big movements, the uh, light cables, the really, really light cables like my modded thing and paracords, don't really interfere that much with your mouse movement. But when you're trying to make precise, small adjustments, even those cables can interfere and cause inconsistencies. Like you swipe your mouse uh, around a couple of times, Maybe the cable will be sitting on, on the right side of it. You swipe it around a couple more times, maybe it will be sitting on the left side. And depending on whether it stopped, the drag that it uh, applies to your mouse will be different uh, in orientation and whatever, and force even. And using a bungee doesn't solve all things. Uh, because I'm actually bothered by using a bungee. I don't like it when the cable is pulling my mouse upwards. Um, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I always preferred... I have a bungee, I have a couple of bungees, but I always preferred just laying the cable down on my table and not having it drag up my, the front of my mouse, because that really bothers me. So, let me get to the point. If we remove the cable from the front and ride it out of the back, uh, there's no need to strap it to your hand anymore. You just route it to a uh, USB extension cable like this one from Logitech or whatever. Just get any USB extender cable, plug it in, put it to the side of your mouse pad, and if you play with the mouse like this, you'll realize, you'll feel that Routing the cable out of the back solves almost, it feels almost completely wireless. I can barely even tell that there's a cable there. I can only tell that there is one uh, when I grip my mouse differently and my hand touches the cable. But that doesn't happen very often, because I made it so that, I, uh, that it comes out of the side, not the exact center. Uh, yeah, I did so with white tack right there. And the rear exit cable mod is really easy to do on this mouse because you just have to 
take out the red light spreader at the end of the wheel mouse optical and that leaves you with a ton of space to route out the cable. So yeah, if you want to know how to do this cable mod, link in the description for it. And the only change that I'm just introducing with this video is basically routing it out of the back instead of the front. So yeah, I urge anyone to try it who wants to get rid of cable drag without getting a wireless mouse without replacing uh, your current mouse's sensor just in the cheapest and simplest way possible. If you're still hearing this, that means you watched through the end and I will thank you for that. And I'm gonna share a few infos with you. The first things are gonna be how you can support me. That you can do via the links in the description. I try to paste Amazon links of stuff I talk about in the video, so if you buy through those, I get a few cents. You can also donate on my Twitch channel if you so desire. Talking about my Twitch channel, the link for it is in the description, just like the link for my Discord. So yeah, visit those two links, and if you want my next video to show up in your inbox, because for some reason that doesn't happen on YouTube automatically, then you have to press the red button and the bell next to it. So... I guess that's it. The last thing, really, the last thing I'm gonna ask you is just to give the video a rating, either a like or a dislike, depending on how you feel about it. And you'll see me again next time, in case you did press the red button and the bell next to it.